We always talk about the Poco F1 as this one legendary smartphone, but there's another Xiaomi phone that deserves the whole legendary status. And I'm talking about the Redmi K20 Pro. That's an amazing phone that I recommend it to a lot of people. And a lot of people still love it. So the question is, is the new Redmi K50i as good as the K20 was? Let's find out. This is the new Redmi K50i and the performance is obviously what makes this phone so hyped up. So let's start with that. The K50i has the powerful MediaTek Dimensity 8100 chipset with fast UFS 3.1 storage, LPDDR5 RAM, so yeah, there's no cost cutting on the performance front. Honestly, the Dimensity 8100 is just real good for a phone that costs 25k because this is a chipset you get in phones that cost 35 to 40k and you know what, the Dimensity 8100 just decimates the competition in this price segment. Just look at the Android scores of the K50i, Edge 30 with Snapdragon 778G+, and the Poco F4 with Snapdragon 870, and the difference is obviously huge. And not just Android, to check out the Geekbench scores, and again, the Dimensity 8100 beats both the chipsets in the multi-core performance. It also offers better GP performance, as you can see from the 3D Mark score. But this is basically the most powerful chipset in this price range, and I love that there are no issues with it. It does well in CPU throttling tests. Here is a 15-minute test, and you can see that the throttling performance is good. I also like that the phone's temperature is 45 degrees, so it is warm, but the phone hasn't throttled the performance at all. We also ran more intensive tests, a half an hour test with 50 threads and it did great in that too, a one hour test with 100 threads and the K50i is that too, brilliantly, and the thermos also very good. Yes, it hits 45 degrees while tests, but it's not overheating, and while gaming, the temperature is a lot less. We checked the temperature while playing Apex Legends and it was around 41, 42 degrees. We even checked it while playing BGMI and again, you can see that the temperature is fine, so there are no heating issues here. In fact, it's not just the test. We have the 8GB version of the phone and this is a phone that I have no problems recommending if your priority is great performance, great gaming. The phone is very smooth in day-to-day -day usage and I did not face any slowdowns while using a lot of apps, multitasking, you get the idea. Gaming is an absolute pleasure too. Red Asphalt, Apex Legends, BGMI, and all of these games run really well on this phone. These are the max graphics settings on Apex, so you know, 90 FPS, but the gameplay is smooth, there's no lag at all. We played the game with the FPS counter on and the frame rates were very consistent, no weird drops. BGMI is also very good on this phone, it supports 90 FPS frame rates with smooth graphics, or you can go with HDR Ultra. Now we played at 90 FPS, obviously, and the game is super smooth on this setting and there's no lag or stutter, it's really good. See, the game performance is top-notch, no doubt, and I think it makes sense for a performance-oriented smartphone under 30K. But what about the other factors in a smartphone? First of all, this is how Redmi K50i looks like. It is 8.9mm slim and weighs in at 200 grams. But I like that the weight seems to be evenly distributed, so it does not feel hefty or anything. Now, the back and frame here are plastic and feels like plastic, but okay, it it's due. I like the back's matte finish because it looks durable and it's not a fingerprint bag. Also, I haven't come across any scratches, although I've been using it without a case and it's been going through the usual, going into jeans, going into the car slot, you know. And this is good and the design has all the functionality. I see that because it has the headphone jack with high risk support, which is great. It has the eye blaster on the top, like most Xiaomi phones. The fingerprint scanner is on the side, not in the display, but it is a fast scanner. There's an IP53 rating for splash resistance and it has dual symmetrical stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support, which means the secondary speaker is in the frame and not in the earpiece. Now this is great because this speaker setup is actually loud with no crackling at max volume and the sound has good details. Moving to the front, the bezels are fairly narrow and there is a chain at the bottom. It's not a big chain, but I would have liked more unified bezels all around. Anyway, the display is a big debate because it's not AMOLED and here are the specs. This is an FFS LCD display and it's packed with all the features as you can see. First of all, what's an FFS LCD, right? Well, it's an LCD tech that's supposed to be more power efficient, bring better visuals and better viewing angles. Now, I'm not sure if it's the FFS tech, but this looks like a good LCD pan. There's 100% DCI-P3 coverage and the colors look good and vibrant. I like that the K50i's display has proper HDR and Dolby Vision certification in apps like Netflix. And it shows in movies and shows that support Dolby Vision because they look really good. Apart from this, the brightness is 650 nits in high brightness mode, so this is not the brightest display out there, but I found it to be fairly good for outdoor usage. Now, one thing I noticed is a slight tinge of yellow backlight bleeding on the left side. This is only visible if you look really, really closely, but yeah, something to know. The display also has the high 144Hz refresh rate, and there's 7-stage adaptive sync here for different content. And MIUI here does seem optimized well with the animations and scrolling looking really smooth. It is MIUI 13 on Android 12 here, and the phone has these third-party pre-installed apps that can be uninstalled. Other than that, it is MIUI, so you get all the features, and like I said, it seems very optimized on this phone. I havenven't come across any bugs or issues, and as a software update, Xiaomi has promised two major Android updates and three years of security patches. 
Let's talk about the cameras now. This is the setup and this is a performance focused phone. So I had kind of low expectations from the cameras. But you know what? I was actually surprised to see pretty good camera performance. Here's some photos from the main camera. The details are good in almost all the photos. But what I like more is the accurate colors in these photos. Now, apart from the natural tone, I also like the dynamic range of these photos and low light shots seem pretty good too. They have balanced exposure and even the night mode does not go overboard, which is something I like. Now, most of the times the photos are sharp and nice, but sometimes I did notice some over sharpening. Moving on, the ultra wide camera on the K50i is okay. -ish. It does well in terms of colors, but the details are fairly average and sometimes it again over sharpens things. The front camera is a 16 megapixel sensor and it takes decent selfies with good exposure, but I did notice some smoothing on the face at times, even though beautification is off. Here's a video from the front camera of the Redmi K50i to give you an idea about the video quality and the mic. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit like. As for rear camera videos, there's no OIS, so stability is average, but the video quality seems good enough with natural colors and good details. The battery is a fairly big 5080mAh battery and there is a 67W charger in the box. There's also up to 27W USB PD support. Now the battery performance should be good with the 5000mAh battery. And as for the 67W charger, it takes the phone from 10 to 50% in 17 minutes and fully charges the phone in around 50 minutes. When it comes to connectivity, there is carrier aggregation support. In fact, we saw 5 CA support, which is really good. And apart from that, it has 12 5G bands and Xiaomi claims this has India ready 5G. There's also all the sensors you expect in the smartphone. There's Wi-Fi 6 support, Bluetooth 5.3. So yeah, you get the latest connectivity standards. To conclude things, the Redmi K50i starts at rupees 2599 and you can even get it at 2299 if you have an ICICI card. And you know what? At this price, the highlight obviously is the performance. Thanks to the Dimensity 8100, the performance is just unmatched in this price range. Plus the cameras seem good so far and the other basics seem on point too. Yes, it has an FFS LCD display and that's something you'll have to keep in mind. But yeah, this does bring ultimate performance at 25k. So what are your thoughts on this? Comment down below. Also, make sure to hit like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell icon. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Deleted WhatsApp messages ko ab aap easily read kar sakte ho. Just follow these steps. Ab na Android phone ki settings mein ja ke notifications.